Welcome back to Prime News on HLN. We continue to follow this story. Little two-year-old Siler Newton, sad to say police believe uh, that he was abducted and that he is now dead. Such a cute little guy. He was camping in Arizona with a custodial mom, a lady that says she was in the process of trying to adopt this little guy and was caring for him and had cared for him for the past few months. Uh, we're taking your calls, one eight seven seven tell hln Barbara's with us, South Carolina. Barbara, go ahead. Okay, I was wondering, and I love your show. You Thank do a great job. Thank but you. I was wondering about the lighting in the campsite, if there was any outdoor lighting, because if there wasn't, I don't believe a child that age would have just walked off. It had to be somebody taking him. Yeah, you know, that's a great point. Lisa writes this on Facebook. How can a two-year-old wander off? His little legs would not have allowed it. Lynn, what does this campsite look like? It's pretty rugged terrain, right? And I'm imagining at midnight, it's, it's pitch black out there. It is pretty rugged terrain. I do not know if there were actually um, like street type lights there. I don't believe there were, um, but it, and it was pretty close to a to a you know stream too. But but the terrain is rough, it, and it would have been really hard for this child to be wandering around yeah. barefoot. And you would have seen, you would have thought he'd have skinned knees and and cracked feet and that kind of thing from the rocks. And they said they found no signs of blood. Right. Michelle Sagona is with us, investigative journalist. You can always check out updates at the website, michellesagona.com. Michelle, what, have we learned any more about this adoption arrangement between the custodial mom and, and her supposed friend? Well, law enforcement has spoke out about that, and they seem to have some conflicting reports as well. It appears that possibly his mother may be living in Indiana. The FBI has helped to track her down, and that uh, she may have given him up so he has a better life. But at this point, there doesn't appear to be any official paperwork uh, for this adoption, this so-called adoption that, that took place. So okay. I think that that's something investigators are trying to get to the bottom of now, along with working that other case in the area. Pat Brown, what do you make of that? Well, I'm, I'm really concerned about this. Uh, I've heard about a criminal record that the custodial mother has. There was supposed to be a couple charges on it that were interesting. One was a drug charge, but it was a uh, prescription. The second one was a false filing a false police report. That's the red flag to me, because that's something most of us don't do. And that, that leads me to believe there might be some kind of personality disorder if you're willing to file a po false police report, which then makes me look at her as a possible suspect who might have something, you know, something else going on here. Gotcha. Shauna's with us, Arizona. Shauna, go ahead. Hi, Mike. Hey, Shauna. Um, I just want to say that this has not passed the stink test from day one with us residents here in Arizona. Going to Beaver Creek from Flagstaff for a camping trip just doesn't wash. It's like going from the mid-70s temperature-wise to the mid-90s for a camp trip in the dirt with kids. People from Flagstaff always go to Sedona for the day or mm -hmm. anywhere for the day or stay home. This is a place where people from Phoenix or Tucson would go to So you're saying this is just too much for a two-year-old, It's something like this? Absolutely right. okay. not. It's dry. It's hot. It's dirty. We've talked. Yeah, we've talked People a lot. People that can't access Sedona or don't want to go as far north as right. Flagstaff to camp no, we, may end up there. But it's just it just never washed with anybody I've okay. talked to here. Shauna, thanks for the call again. We talked about that. Just it's pretty rough out there, rugged terrain, and uh, some have said a little too much for a two-year-old. We're going to keep following this one, guys. Thanks so much. Coming up, tragedy on the Red River. Six teens drowned. Family members who couldn't swim helplessly walked.